Are you looking for some opportunities to contribute to yours, to our community for the holiday season? Stay tuned. Welcome to Step Into The Valley with Katrina Du at the Three Step Realty Group. In today's episode, we're gonna be going over eight different opportunities that you and anybody has to contribute to your, our community this holiday season. Let's start with number one, clean up our community. Maybe you have a local park in your neighborhood where there's trash and debris out that needs to be picked up. Take some time, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, put on some gloves, take your garbage bag and pick up the garbage with your family. The other thing too is this season, we have leaves coming from down from trees, falling into front yards and driveways. And when it starts raining and the wind goes, it pushes all those leaves to the street. So try to keep those cleaned up too. <laughs> then number two, organize or participate in your neighborhood community watch. In fact, statistics have shown that neighborhoods who have active neighborhood watches have 16% less crime activity than other neighborhoods. The number three, support local businesses. In fact, now more than ever, our local businesses need us. So if you're going to be doing your holiday shopping, try to check out some of our local shops and see if you can get your shopping done with them. In fact, while you're out shopping, pick up some food from one of those local restaurants too. Let's keep them supported and keep the money in our community. <laughs> then number four, donate to a local charity. There are many nonprofits in every city for different people and things of need. Find one that speaks to you and donate. In fact, every little bit, if you don't have much, every little bit can count for them, it means a lot. Then there's number five, organize or participate in a holiday food drive. In fact, I know in Tracy, we do have some holiday food drives that they look for people to help deliver foods to people for the holidays. So that could be something there's a lot of family and a lot of people out there that are in need for food, especially on the holidays, which also takes us to opportunity number six, adopt a family or an individual for the holidays. Because again, a lot of families don't have the financial means to be able to purchase and decorate their homes or purchase gifts for their children. So if you're able to adopt a family or even one child, that could mean a whole lot for their end of year. Opportunity number seven, volunteer. As mentioned, we have a lot of nonprofits around and depending on your schedule, it could just mean a few hours out of one day that you could give a little bit of your time to people that need it. And then there's opportunity number eight, which is possibly the most simplest to do, but could also mean the most and that's Perform random acts of kindness. Smile at somebody. Give somebody a simple compliment. If somebody drops something, pick it up. Open a door for somebody. Let them go first. What that does for them is that makes them feel important. And it makes them smile. And if you can do five acts of kindness, random acts of kindness for five different people in one day, that could mean a world of positivity for those five people and then they could turn around and do the same for other people. And then you start getting that ripple effect of positivity and joy and happiness starting to build. <laughs> so that was eight different opportunities that you could take a look at, pick from, choose one if you're able to, to contribute to our community. Now subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we put a new video out for you. Thank you.